Okay, good morning children. In previous class, we have discussed about parts of speech. So today, now we are going to start a new topic. Sense means nothing but 
meaning. Sense means nothing but meaning. So, what is the definition of sentence? Group of words which makes a complete sense is known as sentence. So, whenever we are writing a sentence, how we have to start? We have to start with a capital letter. We have to start with a capital letter. So, a sentence. A sentence always starts with Sentence always starts with capital letter. And ends with and ends with full stop, question mark and exclamation mark. So whenever we are writing the sentence, always we have to start with the capital letter and that sentence should be end with question mark or full stop or exclamation mark. So what are they? As I told that a sentence starts with capital letters and ends with full stop, question mark and exclamation mark. So what are these full stop, question mark and exclamation mark? So these are known as punctuation marks. These are known as punctuation marks. So, these three are known as what? Punctuation marks. So, when we have to keep this full stop, when we have to keep this question mark and when we have to keep this exclamation mark, for which type of sentences we have to keep all these marks. So, I explain you. First one is what? Full stop. So, when we have to keep the full stop, whenever the sentence is completed, whenever a sentence is completed, at that time we have to keep full stop. So, see here, example. My mother, my mother bakes a cake. My mother bakes a cake. So, what is the sentence I have written? My mother bakes a cake. So, the sentence is started with capital letter? Yes, the sentence is started with capital letter. So, at the end of the sentence, I have kept full stop. So, after this sentence, any remaining sentence is there? No, not there. So, after here only the sentence is Completed. So that's why we have to keep full stop. That's why we have to keep full stop. So whenever the sentence is completed, at the end we have to keep full stop. So one more example. Today is my birthday. Today is my birthday. So in this sentence also, we have started a sentence with capital T, capital letter. We have started with capital letter. And at the end we have to keep Full stop. At the end, we have to keep full stop. Why we have to keep full stop? Why? Because up to here only sentence is completed. After this, did I wrote any other sentence? No. Up to here only sentence is completed. So that's why we have to keep full stop. So next, question mark. So we for which type of sentences we have to keep question mark. So see here. What is your name? What is your name? So we are asking a question. We are asking a question. What we are asking like what is your name? So this is question. So that's why at the end we have to keep question mark. We have to keep question mark. And one more sentence. Where is my book? Where is my book? So here also we are asking a question. We are asking a question and we are starting with capital letter. So that's why we have to keep at the end of the sentence question mark. And one more. Who are you? Who are you? So this is also a question. So at the end what we have to keep at the end of the sentence? We have to keep question mark. So this is about full stop and this is about question mark. And so next one. What is the next one? This is called as exclamation mark. This is called as exclamation mark. So for which type of sentences we have to keep exclamation mark? So whenever we are expressing our sudden strong feelings or emotions by seeing anything, by seeing surprisingly anything, we have to keep but that sentences exclamation mark. See, for example, wow, what a beautiful place. Wow, what a beautiful place. So, we are expressing our feeling by seeing the 
dress. What we are saying? Wow, what a beautiful dress. Means it is a sudden surprise and sudden feeling. So that's why we have to keep it as an exclamation mark. Next. See. See, what is this I have written children? What is the sentence I have learned? I am a teacher. So it is a giving a meaning. It is giving a complete meaning to us. Whenever we are reading that sentence, what we are understanding that I am a teacher. So this sentence is giving a complete meaning to us. So this is called a sentence. So one more sentence I will write.